Tem que ser cell extracts. Mm -hmm. Everyone knows what stem cells are, right? Mm -hmm. Okay, so these are the stem cell extracts. It also contains growth factors. VEGFs are growth factors. Vascular endothelial growth factors. This is the two main content of the stem cell. Basically, stem cell peel is a biphasic peel. It means there are two phases. The first phase is the liquid phase. It contains certain proprietary blend of acids that break down the epidermal barrier. And the second phase contains the VEGFs and the stem cell extracts. That is what the pink color cream you saw. Now how does the stem cell peel work? What is the mechanism of action? The first layer removes the layers of the epidermis, leaving it to cool. This causes changes in the epidermal barrier function. You know what is the epidermal barrier function? The epidermal barrier function is that as our skin is intact, there is much bacteria on our skin, there are many germs on our skin, there is a lot of dirt on our skin. But it doesn't enter the body because of the epidermal barrier function. It's like a barrier preventing the unwanted substance from, from being out to go in and preventing what is in to go out. I need to have to think about what you call acid, the actual setting of acid. Because it's a way, for the last guy, there's a barrier, 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 a barrier. Now, how is this different from other peeling acids? Most of the peels are acids. Here's where the difference comes. This is a smart peel. What do I mean by smart peel? If you saw the, the uh, subjects who we did, it burnt more in the effective area. There was more tingling in the affected area. Where the skin was normal, it won't do much. But where there is some kind of pathology, maybe there is some kind of aging spots over there, maybe there is some kind of acne, acne scars over there, maybe there are some kinds of wrinkles over there. The peel collects microscopically in those wrinkles because the wrinkle is like a trough. Okay, a wrinkle is like a bowl. And when you put the peel, it collects in that. And that's how the peel works smartly. Other peels don't do. The other peels go evenly and act all over the face. If you see TCA, if you see phenol, you have frosting all over the face. But this is a smart peel. So it works less in the, in the non-affected areas and works more in the affected areas. It changes the pH. Once the pH changes, the permeability of the cell wall changes. What do I mean by permeability? The molecules can penetrate and go in. So, basically large molecules can penetrate through the skin barrier. Now, why do we want large molecules to penetrate through the skin barrier? We want large molecules to penetrate to the skin barrier because the stem cell extracts are protein extracts. They are the large molecules that has to penetrate inside. Now the mechanism of action of the cream. The cream, what does the cream do? The cream contains the epidermal growth factors and the VEGF, that is the vascular endothelial growth factors. This goes deep down and rejuvenates the dermis. It causes more blood supply. It takes care of the aging spot. It causes more building of collagen. This is how the peel works. And hence we say, this is basically a very good anti-aging peel. If you see, these are some treatments of acne scars. If you see, these photographs, this lady has much more dark complexion. She had some treatments. This is 10 treatments later. So there is a marked difference in her complexion. There is a marked difference in the acne. See, the, see this entire belt is a marked difference. About 60 to 70 percent reduction. 
again another patient you can see the nice big acne over here you can see the change in complexion over here this lady had an accident scar on the forehead she was driving a motorcycle and she had an accident scar now you can see this is a nice thick scar and after the peel it is still there but it is almost gone you can't make out this is for stretch marks no. yeah. post pregnancy stretch marks they are quite dark, deep the skin is also discolored this is 50 treatments ok this is an entire year she took treatment for a year after one year this is what she looked like so the interval is 2 weeks 2 weeks this lady she had taken she had done laser hair removal laser you can see I don't know could be a hair removal laser and she had burnt the entire face these are burns these are and after burn, this is PIH. This is classically seen with a IPL. If the IPL is not used properly, she gets this kind of burns. And this is three treatments later. Okay, so the stem cells, I told you this is a smart team. So it acts deep where it is required the most. So the peel is required here the most. And you can see there is absolutely no PIH. Even if you give hydroquinone and hydrocortisone, the medical treatment for PIH, you don't get this kind of a result. So some of the main indications of stem cell PA are anti-aging, pigmentation, uneven skin tone, melasma. Epidermal melasma responds much better than dermal melasma. Acne scars and stretch marks. Okay, so any questions? We told us to be sample, and 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 we told us to be เขาบอกให้เขาพยายามบอกมันมีสเตมเซลล์ผิวซึ่งสเตมเซลล์ผิวนี่ก็คือมีพวกโปรแฟกเตอร์เราจะได้ยินคำว่าโปรแฟกเตอร์อยู่ในส่วนของกันโปรแฟกเตอร์พวกนี้เนี่ยมันจะโปรโมทฮีลิ่งก็คือทําให้ผิวเราเนี่ยซ่อมแซมผิวได้เร็วขึ้นก็คือไอ้ตัวที่สองที่สเตมที่สองนี้เนี่ยนะคือหลังจากทำแล้วหลังก็คือขั้นตอนมันก็อย่างที่บอกมันก็เขาบอกมันค่อนข้างจะเซฟคือเมื่อเทียบแล้วคอมพิเคชันไม่เยอะถ้าเกิดเราใช้แค่ฮาร์ฟซีซีเนี่ยนะคือคนไข้เนี่ยเวลาเราทำฮีลิ่งกลัวที่สุดก็คือเหมือนตอนรับเจออะไรมันมีฟรอสติ้งเนี่ยมันจะน่ากลัวเนี่ยอันนี้มันก็จะไม่มีฟรอสติ้งก็ไม่มีอะไรเนี่ยนะมันก็จะค่อนข้างเซฟแต่อย่างที่บอกว่าฮีลิ่งเนี่ยเราก็เลยเราก็เคยทํามาหลายรอบแล้วดูไม่ค่อยได้ตังค์เนาะสมองมันนี่อ่ะแต่ว่าคือพี่ว่าเราก็น่าจะรู้ไว้เพราะว่าคือตลาดที่บอกว่าคอสเมติกมันก็มันมีแฟชั่นของมันอ่ะคืออะไรที่มันขายดีอยู่เสมอไม่ได้แปลว่าขายดีตลอดไปแล้วก็คือลูกค้าก็อยากจะมองหาสิ่งใหม่ๆทีนี้เราก็พอมีอยู่สองสามมีพีลิ่งอยู่สองสาตัวแล้วแหละแต่ว่าตัวนี้ก็จะเป็นอีกตัวหนึ่งซึ่งเออมันไม่เหมือนวิธีการเดิมมันจะมีตัวหนึ่งอย่างที่บอกเขาตัวนี้ก็จะมีแมนเดลิกแอซิดที่มีคนพูดถึงกันหลายคนชอบพูดถึงว่าแมนเดลิกแอซิดนี่เป็นยาซิดที่ดี What is the difference between แมนเดลิก TCA and แอนด์แอนด์แอนด์การโพลิกแอซิดไลโคลิกแอซิดซึ่งมีด็อกเตอร์ที่พูดถึงเรื่องแมนเดลิกแอซิด Something different, mentally. Mentally is for acne, right? Yeah, I know. I'll tell you. See, basically, in peeling, we divide peels into different categories: mm. superficial peeling, mm. medium peeling, mm. and deep peeling. Mm. The most superficial peeling mm. is glycolic. The 35 percent glycolic is the most superficial peel. Mm. Okay, 15 to 35 percent. Mm. Okay, it coagulates. The upper layers of the epidermis, leaving your skin to heal by itself. Mm. Then you come to something which is not medium and not superficial. Mm. It is called mandelic acid. Mm. Now mandelic acid, basically, if you see the formula, it comes. It is also a very good antibacterial. Mm. 
So mandelic acid dissolves in water. If you see crystals of mandelic acid, it's a crystalline substance. Mm -hmm. It dissolves in water. Mm -hmm. Now once this is dissolved in water, if you apply it to your skin, mm -hmm. it acts basically on the acne. Mm -hmm. Okay? Because number one, it causes peeling. Mm -hmm. Number two, it also acts as an antibacterial. Mm -hmm. So the P acne is, okay, the, the other bacteria, pseudo uh, staphylococcus mm -hmm. bacteria on the skin, which cause the acne, mm -hmm. it goes inside and kills them. Oh, that is why metallic acid right. is a good uh, acne based peel. Mm -hmm. Second, now the third is a basically a middle, middle peel, what do you call it? A medium mm -hmm. depth peel. Mm -hmm. Stem cell peel falls into medium depth peel. Oh, okay. Medium depth peel. Mm -hmm. Okay. Medium depth. Medium. Mm -hmm. It doesn't go deep down into the dermis, mm -hmm. but it touches goes to the epidermal dermal junction. Everybody knows epidermis and dermis. Mm -hmm. This is the junction. Mm -hmm. It just goes up to there. Mm -hmm. Okay. So that is how it can go and affect the bacteria inside the acne. Mm -hmm. That is how it can go and call and change the aging spot. Mm -hmm. That is how it can go and cause rejuvenation of the wrinkles. Mm -hmm. Because the wrinkles happen at the epidermal dermal junction, where the, the, the epidermis folds over the dermis. Mm. So we are promoting more on the rejuvenation. Yes. Then yeah, it also... It is probably a common question, right? What is the, the, the depth of the healing? It's the so epidermal say, dermal junction. Uh, it is a medium depth. Medium depth peel. Medium depth peel. And good for, uh, for acne. Good for acne, good for wrinkles, good for anti-aging, and good for rejuvenation. Pigmentation. And pigmentation. Mm. Five. Indications basically. So, you say that you have to do the cream, which mm -hmm. contains the growth factors, mm -hmm. this causes thickening of the dermis. The mist na na to the way. The rejuvenation la bong hai. The mist na to the no. Like that. Ah, so that means mist. You know what? What is peeling? Yeah, yeah. Peel sensitive or peel warm? Long, so that means it's not too warm. If you have sensitive skin, okay, some people have very sensitive skin. You can dilute the peel. There is absolutely no problem. You can make it one by half, 50-50. 50% of distilled water, 50% of the peel. It will still work in a very sensitive skin person. So I don't know how many acid give us then, right? 20 to 22, right? 22 to 25. Yes, 22 to 25 percent is the... Medium their peel. Medium their peel. Rejuvenation, acne, pigmentation. Aging spots. I think it's cotic acid. I think it's cotic acid. I think the lightening is from the cotic acid, right? Yes, see there is mandelic, there is cogic, there is lactate. Okay, there is cogic lactate, basically, which is formed. That lightens the skin. Mandelic takes care of the bacteria. Okay? Okay, like I think that's an acne in the world, like a lightening in the world. In the world, you can cut it. ดำอยู่แล้วเนี่ยเขาก็อยากได้ขาวขาวที่คอมมอนมาคือถ้าเกิดว่ามันทําให้คนอินเดียขาวได้นี่เราก็น่าจะขาวได้